Ooh, that's bright. What up, my besties? Butter is here. Hey, guys. Today is Wednesday, the day right before Thanksgiving. That's what today is. I can't think of the date. <laughs> Maybe it's like the 26th or the 25th today. Yeah, 25th, I think. But anyway, guys, I am here sitting at the urgent care. Oh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am not feeling the best. As you can hear, my voice is a mess. So let me just bring you back to Sunday. Okay. Sunday, I did a double at my job, a 7 to 3 and a 3 to 11, 16-hour shift. Mind you, I had to go home, shower. I get to get into bed until like 12 something. Went to sleep, woke up to be to work at seven the next morning. When I woke up, I was feeling so tired, like I didn't get enough sleep. And um, I ended up going to work and I was feeling tired and weak. I felt like my body was fighting against me. So I didn't know what was going on. I just felt like I was, maybe I was tired from the night prior to, from the double. So anyway, I was supposed to, after I finished that shift on Monday, I was supposed to go home and then go back to work on 11 to 7. My job ended up canceling me for the overtime, but was going to give me the overtime the following day, which would have been Tuesday night, 11 to 7. So anyway, I said, bet. I said, well, maybe I'll just I'm sweating. Maybe I'll just go home and take a good night's sleep and then start fresh on Tuesday morning. When I got home, took a shower and everything um, yeah, on Monday, I had started getting a fever. And I took my temperature. My temperature was 100 and, 101. 101.1 it was no sorry 101.2 and then about an hour later I went down a little bit I took some Tylenol I just felt like my lips were hot my my body was hot my feet were on fire hot it was ridiculous I was so hot so I took some Tylenol and I just laid there and she didn't have no coughs or anything just tired and weak so the next day I got up, I had to go take a COVID test at my job. We have to take one every Tuesday, end up having to call out. So I went there and I dropped my, um, I went there and I went and got my COVID test. And then, um, <coughs> excuse me. And then I came, I went back home. So after that, I just, I made an appointment, well, my son, my daughter made an appointment for me to take a COVID test, a rapid COVID test here, um, here at, um, at the clinic where I'm at. So I'm here waiting to get my COVID test and I should know within an hour if I have COVID or not. So that is where I am. I am here trying to get a COVID test. And to top it all off, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, right? And also, my tooth is bothering me. I think I have a cavity. I hope and pray. Well, my temperature went down this morning. It's 97.9. I had took last night, I took two NyQuil. I had took two NyQuil tabs. I took a Tylenol. And I went to sleep. I slept so good last night. Oh, my God. But anyway. So I'm hoping that my temp is still down. I don't have COVID because if that's the case, I'm going to see if I can get my butt squeezed in to the dentist today. I need to get this mouth fixed. I think I have a little cavity. And it's no joke. It doesn't hurt as an ache, but when I eat something, that's when it hurts. Yeah, so anyway. So that's what's going on with me. But I'll come back to you guys in a few minutes to let her go the window down. Listen, the honey is hot, okay? Because today is 51 degrees and it's very toasty. So yeah, and then I have my um my N95 mask. My honey got me, you know, the I have the uh, what do you call it? 
the headband on to put this around me like this so I don't have to have it behind my ears. You see, she got, it has the two buttons on it or whatever. So I haven't seen my sweetheart only through um, um, FaceTime on Apple. So I'm going to come back in later on to let you know if I'm negative or if I'm positive. So yeah, keep you posted. Hey guys, butter is back. So I went in, it took me like an hour, almost an hour to get my, re uh, not my results, but to get my test. So um, they told me that it will be by the end of the day, I should get an email telling me if I have the COVID or not. So yeah. So I'm just here in my car. I'm at CVS. I have to pick up my pres a prescription that I had already sitting here. Um, in here, and I'm here to pick it up. So that is what I'm doing. It's crazy because today was the first time that I am getting it, the COVID test going up my nose. Usually at my job, it's in your throat. So, anyway, um, the nurse was telling me that it's more accurate when they do it in your nose versus in your throat, which I kind of figured. Um, yeah, so it's a little annoying that stick in your nose but it, it didn't hurt bad it didn't hurt to me it didn't hurt at all it felt like like if your nose is itching and you couldn't get that scratch and that thing got my itch I don't know it, it wasn't bad <laughs> to me some people hate it but, or was it just the lady was really the nurse was really gentle so yeah she was she was really good I, I, she was very nice had a very nice personality she came in, had a little conversation with me, and jabbed stuff up my nose, and it was over. She gave me tissue in case I needed to blow my nose or whatever, and and, and then that relationship was over, was over. So she told me my results should be in by the end of the day, and um, that is that. So yeah, it's over and it's done. So now I wait. Um, I don't know if so. I wanted. I thought my results might come in sooner. Then what she said, um, I think they have to say that, um, that they'll send you an email by the end of the day. And I think they do that because, um, people don't keep calling and going there or what have you. And, um, that gives you like some, them some breathing room. People are not, oh, I got my test. I didn't get my results, you know, type situation. But I hope I get them soon. Because if I got my results soon, I can try to make a dentist appointment real quick to try to get my tooth fixed. I mean, I don't feel the best as it is. I don't want to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to get Novocaine up and all these different things. Um today but I don't want my tooth to be bothering me it doesn't hurt only when I eat something so I should be blessed about that so I would just have to take my time and just eat eat my Thanksgiving dinner you know what I mean so but anyway I think after I pick up my prescription I'm gonna go to Wendy's and then go home and I notice that the line at Wendy's is long but I'm not at work. I don't have nowhere to rush to. So I don't even mind sitting in the line. I'll put my mask on when I get up to the window. And I'll just go on about my business. And go on home. After that. Because Lord knows I don't really don't want to infect anybody. With my disease. If I have the COVID. I don't know. But that's all I have to say. I'm just sitting here. And um, 
I don't know how to feel. I mean, I don't want it, um, the COVID, but I am sick. But I really believe I just have a cold. Um, you know, I was doing a lot, running around, doing this, doing that, doing this. And now it's just like, okay, my body's just telling me you're sick now and it's time for you to lay down and get your life together type situation. So that's how I feel about what it is. But we'll see. Um, I will give you my results in my next vlogs, which will be probably tomorrow. So um, I love you guys for watching. Thank you for watching. I miss my baby and I can't see her until the results say negative. Look at my lips, they're so dry. Ugh. Butter is sick. Bye, guys. I'm so dry. I forgot to say. Y'all already know. Butter is out. TTY, please be safe out there. Out there. And keep your asses home. When I'm finished with this, I'm going home. Be home. People are traveling. Why? Be home. I'm just saying. <laughs> Bye guys. To the L's. Bye.